All right, guys, what's up? This video is a little bit different than my first one, but it's definitely a necessary video considering everything that's happening in the world right now. Currently on my way to my boyfriend's house, who's also a nurse, and we're both going to head into New York City for one of the protests in regards to the death of George Floyd. We both were talking and we felt like we this is something that we need to do. And since we're also nurses and there's been talk of people getting injured and not receiving correct medical attention, we can also provide help in that way. Since we have voices and we have knowledge, we might as well put it to good use. Our intentions are totally to be peaceful. We do not want to cause any type of rioting and looting and stuff like that. We just want to raise awareness and be part of positive change and a movement towards hopefully positive change because this just has to come to an end. So we just got on the ferry. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> We just got off the ferry and now it's like a 20 minute walk to please? Foley Square. Foley Square! Okay, we have arrived.
just got back from the protest. And it was amazing. And very peaceful at that as well. Unlike everything else that I'm seeing on social media, none of the cops were interfering. I mean, they weren't really active in kneeling and stuff like that, but they were just minding their own business and they let the people do as they please, which I think is better than anything I've seen on Instagram. Wish that some of them would kneel, but that didn't happen for us. What are your thoughts? Um, I, I think the media is sensationalizing the entire... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm going to kill those guys. Okay, what was it? Continue. I, I just think the media is sens sensationalizing the entire thing and demonizing the protesters by the violent acts of 1% of them. Because today we went with over, you know, a thousand people and not one of them were hateful or aggressive or violent in any way, almost even towards the police, you know? The police were there just to watch what was going on and to just, like, be ready if anything were to happen. And, I mean, everything went pretty smoothly. People were giving out food. People were giving out hand sanitizer, hats. Yeah, that you know? was good. Yeah, it was, it was awesome, you know? And it was never, like, I felt as if I was there, it was never a white versus black thing, a black versus yeah. white thing. You know, everyone, you know, just treat each other as human, which is, I really think, what the point of all this is, you know, is to end that division. I also think, like, in regards to the whole COVID thing, well, everybody was wearing a mask. Yeah, everyone was and wearing no a mask, gloves, hand sanitizer. The six feet was the only thing that really was a problem, obviously, because there's so we many. Did, we did not maintain six feet apart. We did not. But everybody was wearing a mask. There's hand sanitizer almost like every block. There's people giving out hand sanitizer. And nobody was really touchy with one another. No. You know? I hope it doesn't cause any type of... Resurgence. But... Within the tri-state yeah. area. People were we trying. People, yeah. But people were trying to make an effort. It wasn't like a free-for-all. I think everybody should go to the protest. Because it's not what they make it out to be. I mean... It's, it's in New York. I feel like it's before because not to downplay and say yeah. that these violent atrocities aren't occurring because they are. Feels if those things start happening way later in the day. Oh yeah. So don't stay out late. Helpful tip. Tip one. Step one. Tip so one. Step one. Underline. <laughs> oh, I definitely just got a ticket. Why? Because I uh, put my speed camera. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs>